Hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. In today's tutorial, what I want to do is share some of the settings I use when I'm starting a new project to speed up uh, VPR and then maybe how I go about rendering a final still. So currently, if we just have a look at the scene, so what I've done, I've got this basic scene that I've kind of put together and I've made sure there's some spotlights with volumetrics, there's a HDR lighting, there's a couple of uh, area lights we've got some different materials we've got some glass bottles in there and metals so we've got a variety of stuff so if I go down here into my camera view and just turn on VPR from the drop down you can see uh, the scene so if I go down to and select my camera button and then the properties these are the default settings you usually get when you first open Lightwave and you're working on a Scene. So what I do to speed VPR is a, few, up, I, is a few things I do. The first thing I do is I go to Edit and General Options and I turn on here, look, the Viewport Monitor. What this does, it brings up a, like a progress bar that shows you how quickly and how fast VPR has updated. So if I just click on 20, you'll notice here, oh, here's the bar at the bottom, look. And it's basically, when that stops, it means... VPR stopped doing its thing. So there we go, 11.84 to get this uh, VPR rendered uh, finished. So what I want to do is I always use this to see, because sometimes if you don't have this up, you don't know when VPR is finished. So you're kind of waiting and it, it might not be done yet. So things I do is I make sure viewport uh, monitors on. Other things I do when I'm just creating a scene and setting it up and not worried about the final render, is I change my minimum and maximum samples to 2 and 4. For the threshold, I put it down to 0 0.1, like so. Uh, then what I do is I go to the Render tab, go to the Render Properties, and uh, if we go onto the Render here, I'm not going to be rendering any lines, instancing, lens flares, so I turn them off. If I come down to the bottom, where it says Polygon Intersection Mode, I switch that to Faster, under global illumination, I'm not using GI, so I'm turning that off. Some might need it, some don't. I'm turning it off, I'm not using it. And then what I also do is, here look, and you see a little tab, if you come over just above the camera view, click on the little cog and it says draft mode. I also click that uh, to put it on a draft mode. So if I now turn VPR on, and let's have a look if it's any different. So this just took 2.81 seconds to do instead of like nearly 12 seconds so that's how i go about speeding up the the kind of scene when i'm actually just setting it up and i'm using stuff and again look 2.7 it's finished it's not an amazing like clear scene there's a lot of noise and stuff but i just i'm just using it for viewing purposes for, for drafting basically and putting my work together so if i render this scene so render Render frame. Let's have a look how long this takes. Okay, so it's took 7.7. .7. So on this PC, so I'm using a PC laptop. It's fairly new. It's got a 13th gen Intel i9 13900H processor with 20 threads, 2.6 gigahertz. It's got 64 gig of DDR5 RAM and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 468 gig of that. So it's quite a decent laptop. Uh, so as you can see, seven seconds is nothing really. There's a lot of noise and stuff, a lot of fireflies. So once I've done that, once I've played around and I've changed my settings and I think to myself, okay, I want to do a better render. So let's move this off to the side. I will change my settings. So what I'll do is I'll go and change this from one to 32. I'll put this to 0.01, what it originally was in here. Go back to my render properties here. Go back to the render tab. Uh, coming down here, I usually change the ray recrusion limit, transparency and reflections, and I double it. Because there's glass and quite a bit of reflections in the scene. I also put 12 in the main reflection samples. Uh, and then I come down, I use uh, Enable D Spike and I usually put 0 0.2 and then I change the polygon intersection mode back to uh, water, water tight 
And then I, I, I literally, I just go and have a go, see what it's like like that. So let's press fire or render, and let's just see how long this takes compared to the seven seconds I really originally did. Okay, so that's just took one minute and 49 seconds. So let's bring it over and let's just look at the original. So this one was the default settings look, which took like, 7.7 .7 seconds just for the draft and you can see there's a lot of fireflies and a lot of graininess in it and if we go and do the 1 minute 49 a lot of that's gone i can i can like up up the actual samples a bit more if i want something i haven't done is i haven't gone into the light settings and i haven't touched any of the samples there so this is something else you can do to improve the render as well but again it will increase your render time uh, and to do that you're literally just clicking on your lights bringing it up and again in my scene I've got two area lights four spotlights with hypervoxels on and a HDRI and what you'll do is you'll see I mean the HDRI is actually got because I brought it in it was a 4k so the MSI samples are actually 4k's however I'm not rendering that so uh, this could be lower and also it could be a lot lower actually because I'm only using 10% of my HDR because I want it to be quite a dark scene. I want my spotlights to actually make the most difference and stuff. So you can come through these and you can increase it. Usually what I do is I jump up in twos. So it, all the spotlights are four. So I'll jump up to six maybe and then double the volumetrics as well if I want that to be a bit clearer and better as well. But that, these are just some simple tasks that I do when I'm working on uh, in Lightwave using VPR to speed it up and also when I'm coming to render the kind of techniques and tools I use to kind of help increase the render but try and keep the quality as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for listening.